Hey there Bixby developers. Today I'll be demonstrating the keyboard shortcuts in Bixby Studio. We've also added the ability to have custom keyboard shortcuts while you're within Bixby Studio, which is very helpful for development purposes. Now I will be doing this on Mac. Um, so you guys will see that the command key is, you know, for the Mac and control for Windows if you're on Windows, as well as option on Mac will be equivalent to alt on Windows. So just keep that in mind when I'm talking about the shortcuts presented in this video. Now here I have the simple copycat capsule, which just, you know, says something, whatever you want it to back to you. So say something interesting. Something interesting. And it will just simply say whatever you want back to you. So this will be the demo capsule that we'll be using today. First to get started, we will want to actually bring up the shortcuts editor which you can do by pressing the command or control key and then comma. And this brings up the settings for your Bixby Studio. And here you can see right here, we have a new thing called keyboard shortcuts and open editor. So in here, you can see a whole bunch of different shortcuts. And these are all for different portions of the IDE. For example, the main window um, includes this thing right here. So while you are in this main window, that is what these main window shortcuts are. The simulator, of course, is for the simulator right here. And the debug console is for this screen. Once you click on this little bug icon in the simulator, it will bring up this debug console. And that's what those shortcuts are indicating is for this thing. And finally, we have the code editor, which is while well, you're in your JavaScript files, for example, here, as well as editing your models, views, and um, you know just all sorts of the code that's actually in your capsule. So going back to the settings and open editor, um, some of the useful ones that are already kind of pre-bound in the main window, in my opinion, that are Bixby, you know, specific, are Command Seven. I use this all the time in order to open the simulator. You can use Command Comma, like I did at the beginning, to open the uh, preferences. And if, for example, you know, Bixby Studio is syncing or taking a while to sync or something, you can always try to relaunch with Command R. And of course you have your standard saves and save all. Now keep in mind that, that if your Bixby Studio is set with auto save, you know, it's gonna auto save so you don't have to use these. Um, but of course, if you don't have it on auto save, like I personally prefer not having it on auto save, then you can use the Command S, Command Alt S to save all. And while you're here, you can also use Control Shift F to look for something, you know, a specific term in the capsule. And Control Shift R to replace all the things in this capsule with something else. Now, I'm not going to do that with um, this example, but, you know, these are just some uh, very useful hotkeys. So going back here, we also have the new documentation search um, functionality, which is very useful. You can do Command for and now here we can search for for example a result view and there we go it will pop it up for us in the browser just like that and you know just very quick way to open up the documentation search with command 4 and back in the editor or back in the keyboard shortcuts editor um, we do have some other useful ones of course like this one, the close all tabs uh, shortcut. I personally like binding this to something. So if you click on it, you can bind a custom shortcut to it. Command Shift W is what I like to have it because you know you can use Command W to close the current tab. But what if you want to clear out all your tabs? So let's say you know you have a ton of different files open and it's getting a little crazy. You can use Command W to close one tab, or you can Command Shift W to now close all the tabs thanks to the custom shortcut that we just set. And another useful one here, which um, I already bound to Command Shift B, but you know, you can, um, you can bind it yourself. Command Shift B is the rebuild workspace. Now this is good for, you know, something is syncing or whatever, or you just want to rebuild your current workspace, just hit Command Shift B and it will recompile it, everything and, you know, reload your capsule like that. It's uh, very useful for, when you make training examples as well. That way you can, you know, kind of a quickly make it compile and build your capsule. 
Now let's go back to the shortcuts and this time we're going to take a look at the code editor shortcuts. Now, me personally, I really like to have the delete line, which I will find in here. We can actually also use the search feature here. There it is, delete line. And you can see I had already set this for um, Command Shift D, but um, you know, uh, if we clear it out and now we can do Command Shift D. Now, personally, I like to have it. I like to have my shortcuts, especially the ones that I use very commonly, all bound to just everything that my left hand can reach, right? So if it's something like Command, Alt, and K, you know, your, uh, your fingers have to do kind of like a little finger twister in order to press those keys to delete a line. So in this case, you know, having that there is really convenient and look how easy it is for me to just delete those lines with that newly bound Command Shift D shortcut. So something I highly recommend uh, doing. So over back in the code editor, there is another couple of shortcuts that I do like having bound to something else. And in particular, it is the copy line down and copy line up. So for these, um, because you can't reach the down arrow keys with your left hand, and you, you, know, you can't reach the down up key with your left hand, while you do the command, or while you do the shift alt, on, with your left hand, I like to rebind these to W and D, or W and S, sorry. So if you play video games and you know you often control your characters with W, A, S, D, so to me, W being up is very natural and S being down is also very natural. So now if we go to our code and we want to copy a line down like this, very easy. And if you want to copy a line up, very easy. Now we only have the left hand to do that and your right hand can uh, be busy with the mouse as you use your left hand to, you know, do all those necessary shortcuts. And one of my favorite shortcuts, even though it's already bound, is to select the next thing. So, which is Command D, right? Use it to select the next, you know, instance of whatever you have highlighted. And it is helpful to familiarize yourselves with the shortcuts in the simulator. But yeah, you'll see that there are a lot less shortcuts for this because, you know, the simulator doesn't quite have as many, uh, you know, shortcuts available to it. Obviously, you don't need as many. So yeah, and, you know, just go through, take a look at these. You can always access the simulator by pressing Command-7, uh, no matter where you are, unless you're in the simulator, of course, you don't need to do that. But yeah, just very useful to know. That way you can easily and quickly hop to the simulator when needed with Command-7. And Control-Shift-D is very useful or command shift D, sorry, is very useful for opening the debug console while you are in the simulator. What would you like me to say? This way you don't have to move your mouse over and click on that, you can just hit, um, you can just hit command shift D and there it is, pops it right up. Now, while you are actually in here, you're actually using code editor shortcuts. So you may have noticed that I deleted this with command shift D, right? That's, that's what happened is that the command delete line command superseded that because this is actually technically a code editor. Uh, you can see me copy paste and then you can see me, you know, select the next instance, so on and so forth, right? So it's just a little uh, quirk about it, but just click here and then, you, you know, command shift D and there you go. Very easy to open the debug simulator. And one more thing I wanted to show you guys here is that you can reset all your shortcuts back to the default by just clicking on this reset button and then click reset shortcuts. You can see how this got rid of some of my custom shortcuts and you can go through and do it for, I guess, each of them. Um, I believe you have to do them for each of them in order to reset each, you know, for example, the simulator shortcuts, debug console, code editor, etc., etc. So yeah, just this is how you reset the shortcuts is just click on that button. So, all right. That will do it. Just a quick crash course on how to edit your keyboard shortcuts. Uh, it's a very powerful new feature in Bixby Studio and I highly recommend that, you know, when you spend a lot of time in Bixby Studio to kind of replicate like your usual shortcuts that you like to use um, with whatever, uh, whatever code editor that you prefer. You know, here you have a lot of customization options available to you. Now, also keep in mind that I believe the defaults for all these shortcuts also are the same as VS Codes, which uses the Monaco Code Editor, which is also what Bixby Studio is built upon in terms of editing code. And yeah, uh, that's it.